dear students welcome to your own channel that is maths fun day now today's topic is rational number so in the rational numbers we are doing today representation of rational numbers on the number line so how to represent the rational numbers on number line before that i'll tell you natural numbers now we all know the natural number means all the counting numbers starting from the one so in this way we represent the natural numbers on the number line starting from the one likewise up to infinity means we are moving towards the right of one indefinitely limitless up to infinity and whereas in the left of one we have nothing here we can't move to the left of the one we have always moved to the right of the one likewise in the whole numbers as you all know whole number means zero and all the natural numbers so we write this in number line like this zero one two three four so on up to infinity it means the line is indefinitely extending to the right of zero nothing is on the left of zero so we can easily represent this now integers integers means the numbers with the negative sign with the positive sign and including the zero so here zero we are taking here then to the right of the zero we are writing all the positive values this can be written up to infinity likewise to the left also we can move up to infinity so writing the number like minus one minus two minus three minus four and so on this also we can easily present and you also know how to represent now our topic is representation of rational numbers on the number line now when we say rational number what is the meaning of rational number rational number means the numbers which can be written in a form of p upon q where p and q are where p and q are integers where p and q are integers and q is not equals to zero means denominator cannot be zero so how to represent the rational numbers so i'll tell you with the help of few examples then it's for very easy for you to represent the any kind of whether it's a positive rational number or it's a negative rational number on the number line so for example suppose if you are taking first i suppose rational number we say 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 so this 1 upon 2 will lie between 0 and 1 so it means rational number means other than all these integers what numbers are lying between the integers we have to find that so like 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 this number is greater than 0 but smaller than 1 so it will lie between 0 and 1 so we are dividing this 0 and 1 into two equal parts into two equal parts so this is our 1 upon 2 so this value is 1 upon 2 so here this 1 upon 2 will Like suppose if we have minus one upon two. Now minus one upon two means it will lie between zero and minus one, zero and minus one. Okay, so this number is smaller than zero but greater than minus one. So this will lie between zero and minus one. Again, we divide the zero and minus into two equal parts. So this value is minus one upon two. This value is minus one upon two. Okay. Next example. Suppose if we have a rational number like three upon four. Suppose if we are taking a rational number as three upon four. So you can easily see in three upon four, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. It means this value is always less than one and greater than zero. It means this three upon four will lie where this three upon four will lie between zero and one. Between zero and one. So look here, zero and one. Suppose it means we have to divide this zero and one into four equal parts. Denominator is four, so four equal parts. So one, two, three. So these are four equal parts. Now here the numerator is three. So we'll count from zero towards the right because this is a positive. So one, two, three. So this is indicating or representing three upon four on the number line. Three upon four on the number line. Likewise, if we have a negative <coughs> rational number. For example, that is minus four upon five. We'll take minus four upon five. Now we can easily see this is a negative, okay? And it means this is smaller than smaller than zero, okay? 
but again if you look at 4.5 it means this will lie between 0 and minus 1 this is greater than minus 1 but is smaller than 0 so the this will lie between 0 and minus 1 it means here the generator is 5 so we'll divide the 0 and minus 1 into 5 equal parts so 1 2 3 4 okay so now <clears throat> Looking at the numerator, numerator is minus 4. It means will move towards the left of 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is minus 4 upon 5. Minus 4 upon 5. So it means what we are doing, we are dividing that given two numbers the portion between the given two numbers equals to what numerator, we, what denominator we are getting and then we are marking the numerator accordingly if it is positive then we are moving to the right of the zero and if it is negative we are moving to the left of the zero okay now if we take suppose if the numerator is greater in both the cases then what to do okay so for example suppose if we are taking 13 upon 5 so in 13 upon 5 so this is actually improper fraction so first we'll write this in the mixed form so this will be 2 whole 3 upon 5 or this can be written as 2 plus 3 upon 5 so it is clear that this is smaller than 1 this value 3 upon 5 and this is 2 plus 3 upon 5 it means this number is lying between 2 and 3 this number lying between 2 and 3 so we are taking here and this 2 and 3 I hope you all know how to make the number line taking the gaps equal uniform okay so 2 and 3 so looking here again here the generator is 5 so we are dividing this into 5 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 equal parts now here the numerator is 3 and this is positive 3 so it means to the right of the 0 so 1 2 3 so this value is 2 whole this value is 2 whole 3 upon 5 or we can write it as 13 upon 5 13 upon 5 okay now we'll take one more example if in case the numerator is negative for example minus 17 upon 4 and here the numerator is also in terms of numeric value it is greater than the denominator so first we'll convert this in the mixed form so writing this as first in a bracket 17 upon 4 so this can be written as now minus then within bracket this is 4 into 4 4 whole 1 upon 4 now 4 whole 1 upon 4 this can be written as within bracket then we write 4 plus 1 upon 4 4 plus 1 upon 4 which can be further written as minus 4 plus we can write minus 1 upon 4 because minus into plus is minus so since we are showing in a form of addition here so minus 4 plus minus 1 upon 4 it means this number will lie between minus 4 and minus 5 minus 4 and minus 5 because we are adding a negative value which is less than 1 with the minus 4 so it will become smaller than minus 4 but greater than minus 5 so this will lie between minus 4 and minus 5 okay so here we can see the denominator here is 4 okay so we'll divide this minus 4 and minus 5 into 4 equal parts so 1 2 3 4 equal parts now looking at the numerator here which is equals to minus 1 so we'll take to the left of the 0 so this will be minus this point will be minus 1 so this can be written as either we write this as minus bracket 4 whole 1 upon 4 or we write as minus 17 upon 4 minus 17 upon 4 now <clears throat> i hope this point is clear so this is the way how to represent the rational numbers on the number line so it's very easy if you re revise this once twice or thrice then you can easily understand so thank you for watching